All right, shalom, shalom, boys here. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm um, on the land today. And, you know, this is a video that's been on my heart for the past couple of days. And, you know, in light of uh, other developments that got nothing to do with me, um, had no effect on me. Uh, uh, you know, just commenting on it from a perspective of a citizen looking at a situation that's been developing. But uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, forgiveness, apologies, and repentance. People have to repent for what they've done in the past. And that, and that is uh, the realm between them and the Father. And then you have the idea of forgiveness and apologies that are offered between men. And as you might know, uh, during the past couple of months, I have been going in on Rufus Caldwell. Uh, videos, commentary, um, you know, just reviewing, you know, the things that he's done, the things that he stated. And, you know, it's amazing how you give it time. Everything will come out. Everything will be revealed. And, you know, you know, I thank y'all for it. Because through these kinds of things that happen, uh, there is vindication. And it feels good to be vindicated. It feels good for uh, lies to be exposed and truth to come out. And sometimes it takes a minute for that to take place. Uh, and... We have all been in situations where we felt. Now, I'm going to say we felt. It doesn't mean it's the truth. But we felt as though we had been wronged by another. Uh, whether it's true or false, right? Uh, whether you have the evidence or don't have the evidence, well, all the facts can stay, it, it doesn't matter, right? Uh you can have this situation go on where truth is revealed, vindication has come forward. Uh, however, all people, just because uh, a truth has come out, just because uh, the facts come out, it doesn't mean that the person that is wronged you is going to apologize to you because we live in a, in a time and an age where people don't feel as though that they've done anything wrong. Uh, people don't feel as though that they've done you wrong. People feel as though they were justified for whatever reason it may be. Now, you may feel uh, that you are justified. Um, uh, however, uh, the other person may act like nothing has happened. And, and, you know, and truly, you know, and it's the truth. Um, it was my hope uh, by exposing this man that he would come out and he would apologize. Uh, that's what I wanted in my heart. I wanted him uh, because others have come out and they have apologized. Um, people associated with the issue at hand. Well, not everybody. But uh, you know, I held Rufus Caldwell because he was the main culprit. Uh, he was the orchestrator. Uh, and others are complicit. And, and they have to deal with uh, that as well. Uh, but, you know, people have to repent and bring forth fruit that meets repentance. And that's between them and the Father. And, you know, I was speaking to a brother um, just, I think, about two, three days ago. Uh, and we were talking about this and I was saying to him, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the only way that I stop uh, is if Rufus issued repentance and apology and uh, then I stopped dogging him out. I'd stop ragging. Uh, unfortunately, upon thinking about it, uh, I was wrong in that, in that, in that thought process uh, because of, um, bitterness and anger towards him. However, uh, 
you must learn that. And see, this has been taught, but it's amazing how things can be taught to you. However, you don't get it or you refuse to accept it um, when it comes time to apply it. Uh, and I'm at the point now where it's just like, you know, I mean, the father's revealed to me um, that, hey, you're wrong uh, and you need to repent. And you need to apologize. And so, therefore, I did to that man who I stated that stuff to. And publicly, um, I forgive Rufus Caldwell. Because no man is uh, worth you going to hell for. Having bitterness, unforgiveness in your heart for. Um, and so, you know, this is, a, this is a good learning lesson. See, there's a lot of good learning lessons that are coming forth in the hour that we're living in. Uh, and so, with regards to this, you out there, you need to understand the importance that uh, you need to forgive and you need to move forward. That just because you feel as though, again, whether it's the truth or whether it's not, just because you felt that somebody has wronged you, that doesn't mean that they feel as though that they wronged you. It doesn't feel that though um, that they're even going to acknowledge it. And you have to accept that fact in your heart uh, because it'll eat away at you. Uh, you have to move on and accept that fact. And the uh, quicker you can move on and accept that fact, then you can move forward in the newness of life. Because these things will have you bound. They will have you bound. And what Rufus Carswell has done uh, is between him and the father. He has to get that right between him and the father. Uh, but I forgive him. I forgive him so I can move forward. Uh, and so that that healing can begin. So word to the wise, because these are real situations. Uh, that have taken place. These are real situations that are taking place. Um, you got to forgive. You got to move forward. You got to repent yourself. Um, even if the other person doesn't want to even acknowledge it. Um, that's just how life is. That's just how it goes. Um, you got to move forward. Uh, let this be a life lesson. There's a lot of life lessons that's coming forward. And it's time that we're living. Uh, and I think that's a good thing. I think it's a healthy thing overall because it um, it shines the light on us and how we need to be uh, dealing with things and moving forward. So, um, you know, in spite of what Rufus Caldwell has said, you know, I've said enough. I've done enough. Uh, I will no longer be making Rufus Caldwell videos. Uh, because it's important. Not so much as well for Rufus Carswell, but for all of you out there that feel as though you have been wrong. You have been unjustly dealt with uh, by an individual. And sometimes people will listen to you uh, and hear your statements and respond accordingly but others will not and you have to accept that and move forward in life um anybody that's ever been wrong will definitely understand exactly what i'm saying and this brother came forward to me uh and he stated he said you know what you know what we need to do we need to put down the torah and listen to the words of the Messiah because what he was attempting to do and what he's been successful at doing is blessed are the peacemakers. Uh, they will inherit the kingdom of Yah. Blessed are the peacemakers. And it's amazing how all of these messages are coming. And you know how you know it's Yah when you receive a series of messages and statements. and I mean, things happen 
right next to one another. And it clearly showed me. Y'all has, you know, uh, he clearly shows you that he ain't playing. Um, he clearly shows you. He sends you messages. Um, definitive, clear messages. It's a, you know, it was funny. Uh, 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 it probably a month or two ago, a thought came to my mind about something that I was thinking. And as I was thinking that, I fell off the damn uh, ladder. And I said, thank you, y'all. That, for a thought that I was thinking, you ever had something like that happen to you? A thought? You was thinking a thought. And y'all quickly did something. For me, I fell off the damn ladder. I mean, I was fine. I fell off the damn ladder, though. He'll He'll talk to you. Trust me, he will talk to you. And people think, oh, that was just a coincidence and Oh, no, it wasn't the case. You know, you just slipped. No, I'm very careful. Um, I was very secure in what I was doing. And and shit, man, it's like, bam! I said, thank you, (laughs) y'all. And I still thank y'all for his corrections, for his his mercies. Um, And for brothers like that that will come to you you, uh, and try and uh, mend pieces. Now, nobody's saying that no one has to go down and be chums and pizos and piles and stuff. Um, no, we're not saying that. But the idea is that you have to have forgiveness in your heart and move forward because it'll eat you. It'll eat you big time. So with that being said, um, that's my position. Um, stay blessed. Stay. Uh, use these. Use these examples. They're, they're, they're there for. Um, you know, and I, and I've said it again and again and again, you know, we may look at Bible stories, right? We may say, well, man, look at this Bible story. Look at that Bible story. Right. And we use that as a gateway to understand exactly how we need to be thinking, uh, but we never want to look at the real life examples that are before us uh, to instruct us on how we need to be navigating and thinking uh, in this time. Uh, move forward, forgive, because again, uh, not everybody that you felt has has wronged you is not going to um, take the same position. Uh, forgive and move forward. Shalom.